For this WordPress tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create a forum on your WordPress page. And as we do most things on WordPress, we're going to do this by going into our Plugins tab. And we're going to go up to Add New for Plugins because we're going to add a whole new plugin. In the search box, we're going to type in Forum and click on Search Plugins. Now as usual, there are always a few hundred different plugins that we can use, but we're going to go ahead and use this one here up at the top, which is the Mingle Forum. And we're going to click on Install Now. Click OK to install the plugin, and then click on Activate Plugin. Once it's activated, it's going to take us back to our Plugins page, and I'm going to go ahead and scroll down until I find it on my list of plugins. And it's right here under Mingle Forum. If you want to get more information about the Mingle Forum, you can click on Visit Plugin Website, and this will give you all kinds of information about what you need to install it, what it can do, and how to set it up correctly on your account. It will also allow you to donate right here by clicking on this PayPal Donate button. And you'll see that on the left hand side, we'll scroll down a little bit, and we now have Mingle Forum on our menu. And I'm going to click on that button. Now the first thing it's going to take you to is the Mingle Forum options. And these options allow you to decide how people are going to see your forum on your page, how people are going to be able to respond, set up new posts, things like that. So here at the top you'll see that we have our statistics. We have number of posts and threads, number of users, total database size, the database server, and which version of Mingle Forum you're using. Underneath that it allows us to personalize it. You can choose whether you want to integrate the WordPress posts with your forum, how many posts you want per page, how many threads per page, the number of posts for hot topics, meaning that for topics that are really getting people interested in posting to it, how many posts for that, and then numbers of posts for a very hot topic. The default, as you can see, is 10, 20, and 25, but you can have this set to any number you'd like. Underneath that is the username display, and using the drop-down you can choose whether you want it to be a user login, nickname, display name, first name, or last name. Beneath that is the new user's title. A new user's title is going to be a newbie, and you can set the title and the level count. For this, it shows that if they get up to 25 posts, they're known as a beginner. If they do between 25 and 50, they're advanced. If they do between 50 and up, they are known as pro. So you can change that if you want to, so they can put a particular number of posts before they're automatically promoted to the next level. You can also choose if you want to be notified anytime someone makes a new post, if you want to show the forum login form, if you want to show avatars, which is the picture that will pop up next to the username when they post or respond to a thread, allow images to be uploaded, and they can do this for pictures that they want to upload, things like that, show user signature at the bottom of the posts, if you want there to be a forum RSS feed that people can attach to their own pages, if you want to use SEO friendly URLs, if you want registration required to post, and I recommend having that turned on, Underneath is the choice if you want unregistered users to have to use a CAPTCHA box. That makes sure that no bots are answering to your page, so that's really a good way to keep your page clean of all of that spam that a lot of forums can get. And then underneath that is the date format. If you want there to be any closed categories where administrators only can post, you can put the name of that in here and click on Save Options. The next tab that we're going to take a look at is the Ads tab, and I'm going to click on that we're going to take a look at where on your page ads can show up. You can choose to have them above your forum, below, above your branding, above your info center, above your breadcrumbs. You can enable the area above your quick reply form, below the first post, and you can also put in your own CSS coding. If you don't know how to do CSS though, you'll want to leave this alone or you'll mess up your forum. So any of these that you want to go ahead and activate, you just click in the box and then scroll down to the bottom and click on Save Options. Next, let's take a look at our skins. And the skins, of course, are how your forum looks when people pull it up. As you can see right now, we've got this sleek royal blue theme. We also have this one that I already installed called the DD Dart Universal underscore black. And it shows us right up here that we can get more skins by going into the Mingle Forum on the actual developer's website. So I'm going to click on Get More Skins so you can see how to install a new skin and make this look just how you want it to look. In scrolling down, you'll see that this is a category just for new skins. So I'm going to pick this one, the Dream On Orange Dark version 1.1.1. And if you scroll down on this thread, 
they'll show you what this will look like. So this is kind of an orange and black and gray. It really stands out. So what we're going to do then is go to the download link, and this should be in each post, and we're going to download this to our computer. Click on the download button, and my computer is set up so it's going to go automatically into my downloads folder. Now from this form, it's going to bring up an ad page first, but you can go ahead and click on skip ad, and it'll go straight into your download. So I'm going to click on save file, and that's gone into my download folder. Next, I'm going to go ahead and sign into my actual server, which as you've seen on here for the other tutorials, and I'm going to go ahead and log in and get into my file manager. So once I get into my server, I'm going to go down to the file manager, into the web root, and because mine is actually on a subpage of WordPress Tutorial Hub, I'm going to go into backslash manually, and then into wp-content. From there, you're going to see that I've got mingle-forum-skins in my file server. If you don't have that folder in there, which you should already, but if you don't, go ahead and click on New Folder and put in mingle-forum-skins. Once you do that, I'm going to go ahead and open up my folder, and I'm going to upload that new skin that I just added to my download folder by clicking Browse, going into my Downloads folder, I'm going to separate these by date, and it's right here, ddart underscore dream underscore on underscore orange underscore dark 1-1. One one. I'm going to go ahead and upload that zip file to my file server, and once it's done, I'm going to X out of that screen and then click reload in my file. And here's my zip file. Now I'm going to have to go ahead and extract those files out of the zip or it's not going to work. So I'm going to right click on that zip file, and I'm going to go down to extract and it's going to ask if this is where I want to put it. So it's going to be under wp-content backslash mingle-forum-skins and click on extract the file. It's going to show me all of the files that are extracted and I'm going to hit close. And again I'm going to hit reload and there's my new theme. So going back into my WordPress plugins page, I'm going to refresh this page and my new skin should pop up here. And there it is. So to go ahead and use this skin instead of the one that I had already activated before, I'm going to just click on Activate, and it should automatically pop up. So once I have the skin, I'm going to go ahead into my Forum Structure tab, and I had already set up two new categories. I set up General Computer Help and WordPress Tutorials, and then the forums that are underneath those. We've got a Help Forum and a Registration Forum. But I'm going to go ahead and add a new forum to the General Computer Help, and we're just going to call this device solutions and then put in a new description for it and click on save forum and then underneath I've got my WordPress tutorials category and I'm going to click on add forum here and I'm going to add a new forum for WordPress tutorials and I'm going to call this one troubleshooting and click on save forum again now another feature that you'll see here are the up and down arrows, and this is going to allow you to change the order that these different forms will come up under the categories. Or you can click on the up and down arrows next to the category names, and it will change the order of your categories. If you want to modify any of them, just click on modify next to the title, and you can do your modifications here to the name and descriptions. Next we're going to take a look at how to choose moderators, so I'm going to click on the moderator tab, and I've made myself a global moderator by clicking this button and that is because I want to be able to moderate each of the categories and each of the forums. If you want to change the administrator you can click on update or remove completely and if you want to add a new moderator you can do that by clicking on add new and then you'll be able to decide which categories and threads they're allowed to go in and moderate. Below that is user groups. I already have a user group called newbies but there aren't any members to this group yet. And I can go ahead and add a new one. And we're just going to put this as teachers and save the user group. Now if I decide that I want to go ahead and add members into my newbies part, I'm going to click on add members here. And it's going to bring up this blank box and you can put in the usernames divided by the comma signs for each of the users that you want in here and then choose which user group you want them in. When you're done, click on add users and it will show us how many errors, warnings, and users added we've done. And it shows that I've added Tiny Room 2 to this group successfully. 
Underneath that button is the About button for the Mingle forums. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that because we need to see how we're going to put this into our actual page. Now I'm in the Mingle Forum plugin help page from the creators of the Mingle Forum. And I'm going to scroll down because I need to find what I am going to use as the short code in the new page I'm going to create for this. And you can see right here it's under bracket Mingle Forum end bracket. And we're going to need to make a new page on our WordPress page. Copy that short form, Mingle Forum, and put that word on it so we'll have the page with the forum. So I'm going to go back into my WordPress Tutorial Hub dashboard. We're going to click on Pages and Add New to add the new page for the forum. I'm going to click on Add New here next to Pages. And we're going to make a new page. I'm going to call it Talk Amongst Yourselves. And then using the short form that I had over here from the Mingle page, which I've copied, I'm going to click here and hit Paste. And then I'm going to do a preview of it. And here it is. We've got our forum right on this page. We still have our entire menu bar over to the right. And if I click, say, on Device Solutions, it's going to allow me to go in and take a look at my categories under that. So that's how we go ahead in and put in our forum. And clicking back on my regular WordPress page, I'm going to go back into the dashboard. And this time when I click on Mingle Forum, it shows me that I have one post, one thread, because I had already posted a post and a thread earlier. I've got five users and all the other information that I need. So that's how we go ahead and install a forum on our WordPress page. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for listening.